Hey there guys, welcome back. Today I want to try something, but something I've been curious about for many years. What happens if a beer bottle heats up too much? Let's find out. So I have here two bottles of light beer. This is cheap light beer. This is actually left over from our engagement party and our engagement party was, geez, three years ago. So these are never gonna be drunk. I wanna see what happens. So I've got this one here. I've shaken this one up. This one will be second. Now this one hasn't been shaken at all. It's just a, it's warm, it's room temperature, but it hasn't been shaken. It's completely normal. I've got it inside this tire in the hopes that if it does explode, it doesn't send shrapnel flying all over my yard. See what happens. Please don't try this at home. Here we go. We got some bubbling starting right where the flame is hitting that bottle. I might back off just in case. Alright, so I backed off for about a minute. Nothing seems to have happened yet. That being said, it is still bubbling. You may not be able to see it on the camera, but there are bubbles pretty much forming exactly where the flame is hitting there. You can see the thing starting to smoke. So right there where that was hitting is exactly where the bubbles are emanating from. The quantity of bubbles is starting to increase quite a bit. I might back off again, just in case. Ah, uh, well the bubbling has stopped, so I'm a bit concerned. I might just move the blowtorch a little bit closer. There we go, a little bit closer. See if that makes a difference. It is causing a lot more bubbling now. I'm gonna back right off because those bubbles are increasing quite quickly. I'm not going to touch that because I imagine that's quite hot. But I think. Whoa! Okay. Well, the glass didn't shatter, which is good. That being said, it is awfully weak where the flame's been on it. Hmm. I'm going to clean this up and I'll set up the other one. That's really interesting. It seems to have actually damaged the glass where it was concentrating. It's interesting. Right, let's give that another go. That was fun. I'm going to shake this one up. Nice and shaken up. Here we go, round two. Well, that last one was pretty exciting. It turns out if you shake the bottle first, it pops a lot harder. Um, I had the slow-mo camera going for that one, so we'll cut to the slow-mo footage right now. Now that we're back, please don't try this at home. This is very silly. I'm definitely glad I had this tire here because 
bits of bottle kind of shot everywhere in that direction. Um, none of them went up, which is interesting. Um, it, it's actually very good because I was standing just there. Um, but yeah, that's what happens if you set fire to a beer bottle. <laughs> Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.